Hello everyone, welcome back to Developer Soria. This is the place where we build awesome web projects step by step. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a modern login page using only HTML and CSS. There is no frameworks, no libraries, just clean and responsive design. This project is perfect for beginners and will help you to understand form styling, gradients, hover effects and input focus animations. So without wasting time, let's get started. First of all, you have to create one folder. Let me do this and name it as login form, sign in form, whatever you want. In my case, I'm writing login page. And once you create it, open it with VS Code. Once your VS Code is open, you have to create two files. So let's create here. The first one is index.html and the second one is style.css. Come to index.html. Let me zoom in. Okay, it's good. So if you press exclamation mark, then you will get this image abbreviation and if you press enter then you will get this basic html code once you will get this in the title change the title as login or sign in page now we have to link our style sheet our style.css so i will add one comment here as style sheet and below this i am going to link the style sheet our style.css has been linked to index.html now go live now come to body tag under body tag create one div with class name container and hit enter inside container we have to create another div and class is going to be card under card we have to create one s2 and we will give sign in after that we have to create one paragraph with class name subtitle And the subtitle is welcome back please enter your details after this we have to create one form leave the action blank and put method and method is going to be post inside form you have to create another div and class name is going to be input group then create one label one is for email now we need our uh, input so come to input and inside this we need email then give a name and name is going to be email after that we need id id is going to be email and a placeholder placeholder your name or you at the right example now we need one more thing which is required and one more thing which is auto complete and this is going to be off now we need another div with input group Inside this, we again create one label and this is for password. Now we need one input field and this time we need password. Okay, so the name will be password or we will simply put pass. ID is also going to be pass and in placeholder, we are simply going to give some dot. And I want to tell you something that this dot is not a normal dot. See the normal dot this is the normal dot so how to get this dot so open one new tab and write dot for password and hit enter then come to any website and simply copy this and paste it here and if i show you the normal dot so these are the normal dots but we don't need this now we are going to create another div for options class name is options again we need a label and this time remove the four and inside label we have to create one input field and the type is going to be checkbox remember me after this we need one anchor tag which is link tag put has then for good password now we need button whatever we are building if you are building login page then write login but i am building as sign in so i will write sign in click on button and write sign in and now we need a paragraph with class name sign up don't have an account put it has here then we will redirect to sign up form let me show you the HTML code. First of all, we have created one container. Inside container, we have created one card. Inside card, we created one S2 with sign in. Then we created one paragraph, which is for subtitle, which says, welcome back, please enter your details. 
then we created form inside that there is action and method the action is leave blank because we are not combining backend and this method is post because this form contains sensitive data that we do not want to leak on url well it's not necessary because we are not adding backend but it's a good practice to add this if you do not want you can remove this after that we created another div this div is for email here there we wrote one label for email then we created one input field and the type is email and i want to tell you something why we give him name and id these things will help you when you connect this to backends and you know placeholder whatever you write in placeholder will show here and required course we do not want the user leave it blank and autocomplete autocomplete is if user focus on email then it should not suggest any email to users then we created another div for password and again we write label for password then we provided input field in the type we write password so that if user writes something this should not be visible to users or the data or the password data is converted to dot then we created another div with options and in this we have put two things one is remember me and the second is forgot password so if user forgot they can click this link and move to the forgot password page after that we created one button which is sign in and if you are creating login page then you simply put login there this is the button which is responsible to collecting all the form data and send back to the backend after that we created one paragraph and there we have written to so do not have an account you can go to sign up page now close this index file and come to css and let's style this now we are going to style our sign in page so put status and write margin and set it to 0 then padding and set it to 0 and box sizing this is going to be border box you can see the difference in the right side and it's a good practice to write comment whatever we are building so i will write here this is used for reset now the body inside body we will choose one background and we will use linear gradient and this is going to be to write and now we are going to put two colors the first one is six six seven e e a and the second color is 764 b a 2 so this is the color we are going to use as background for our body now we need to select body and html both and we will set some font family font family we will use poppins and the fallback is sans serif and we will give height and this is going to be 100 percent then we will set display to flex after that we will align items to center and justify content to center now this is sensory not poppins to use poppins in our style sheet we need to import it from google open a new tab and write poppins font click on the first link well i do have poppins in the front but i want to show you how it's done so in the search box write poppins now click on get font click on get embedded code scroll down and you will see import options click on that and copy this once it is copied paste it at the top of your style sheet and remove the style tag and this is google font which is poppins so this is the poppins font now write a and inside this we will use color and the color is going to be six three six six f one this is the color we are going to use for anchor tag and text decoration this is going to be none now we have to style our containers so put dot and write containers then we are going to set width 100 percent and max width this is going to be 400 pixels now some padding and this is 20 px now we have to style our card so again the same process card and we will set background to white now we give some padding padding uh, 40px after that we will set border radius and border radius is going to be 12 pixels now we will give some box shadow and this is 0 then 8 pixels then 24 pixels and we will set its color rgba and the color is 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 0.05 then we will provide some transition and in transition it's going to be all for 0.3 seconds and it's is in out now we need some hovering effect so for that write out car hover and then we need some margin from top which is 10 pixels then we will set its font size 
to 24 pixels and we will set its color and color is as 111827 okay it's working now we are going to design our subtitle so subtitle and then we will set its font size font size to 14 pixels and we will provide some colors color is 6 8 7 2 8 0 and we need some margin from the bottom so i will give you a margin to the bottom and 30 pixels now we are going to design this form so let's do it for that let me write here our form after that we are going to design input group and we just need some margin from bottom let's say 20 pixels now we need to style our input group label so input group label and we want to set display to block and we need margin from bottom 6 pixels and font weight uh, set it to 500 then we are going to set the color and this time it will be 374151 now we are going to style our input group input so input group and input and set with 200% then we need some padding 12 pixels and 24 pixels after that we need a border 1 pixels solid color will be d1 type and db now we need border radius and set it to 8 pixels then the font size and font size is 14 pixels and we need transition and transition is for 0.3 seconds now we are going to uh, style the focus so input group input and focus and border color set it to 6366f1 yeah this one then we need outline outline should be null and we need some box shadow and this will be 0 0 0 3 pixels and the color is going to be 99 comma 102 comma 241 comma 0 0.2 now we are going to design our options so options and set it display to flex then justify content to a space between we need some space and align items to center then margin from bottom 25 pixels and color this is going to be 6b 7 to 8 0 now we are going to design the button and button set the width to 100 percent then give some padding padding of 12 pixels then the background and the background color will be 6366 f1 and the color this is going to be white then we will set its font size to 16 pixels after that we will set and font weight we need some darker so 600 and we do not want any border so border is going to be not after that set some border radius 8 pixels then we will set cursor to pointer after that we will set transition and transition we need 0 0.3 seconds is now we are going to set the button hover effect so button and hover and set the background as 4 f 4 6 e 5 now we will style the sign up give some margin from the top 25 pixels and font size set it to 14 pixels and text align to center and color 6b7280 now the link so sign up a and we just want to give a font weight to 500 that's it when we hover on the card this is not looking good when the the text is increasing so we have to remove this card over and remove the font size so we are just going to remove this one we do not need font size so this is the sign in form that we have designed now i, I want to show you some if you open new tab and write developer soria and click on the first link then you will visit my website and in my website you can see there are tons of blocks written you can read it and it definitely going to help you one more thing there are resources you can use like there is cheat sheets you can use it so if you need the cheat sheet for html css you can view the blog or you can simply download it so you can see there is a complete cheat sheet for the css text box model background display positions there is everything you need for css 
So simply visit the website and download the HTML cheat sheet and CSS cheat sheet. So it will help you to understand the things. That's all for today's video. What do you think about this project? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you like it or not? And if you want to explore more similar videos, don't forget to check out the playlist section. Also, you will find all the important links mentioned in the description below. So make sure to check out them. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content.